Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our project title is A Trust Management System for Securing Data Plan of Ad Hoc Networks Abstract The rapidly developing Ad Hoc Network technology has a wide range of applications such as vehicular Ad Hoc Networks, wireless sensor networks and emergency and military communications. Due to the characteristics such as openness and dynamic topology, ad hoc networks suffer from various attacks in the data plan. Even worse, some attacks can subvert or bypass the frequently used identity-based security mechanisms. To secure the data plan of ad hoc networks, we propose a novel trust management system. In the system, fuzzy logic is exploited to formulate imperious empirical knowledge which is used to evaluate the path trust value. Together with fuzzy logic, graph theory is adapted to build a novel trust model for calculating the new trust value. To defend against increasing attack to trust management systems such as slandering and harboring, we propose a filtering algorithm. An efficient trustworthiness decay method is also designed to resolve the conflict about the decaying historical trust value in a trust-based routing decisions. Additionally, we present a feasible trust factor collection approach to assure that the trust management system is compatible with other security primitives such as encryption and encapsulation. Finally, we implement the proposed trust management system by integrating it into the optimized link state routing protocol. Simulation results show that the proposed trust management system works well in detecting and resisting data plan attacks. Let us see the proof of our project. First we have to form wireless ad hoc networks. Then in our project we have to form the random mobility model between 30 nodes. If malicious nodes are interrupted, we have to analyze the trust factor collection using cryptographic security functions. Uh, that malicious are nothing but the data plan attacks, Sybil attacks, black hole attacks and grey hole attacks. The malicious nodes are steal the information from the user which uh, may bypass or deleting the valuable information from the user. If the malicious nodes are identified, we have to you implement trust using FGT based OLSR protocol. If malicious nodes are identified, we have to identify these malicious nodes and we have to send the data to another node and transmission is done. Also, these malicious nodes are fully deleted from our network. Then we have to analyze our project into simulation. From that, we have to compare our system with the existing system. From the simulation result, our proposed trust management system provides better trust management scheme and throughput as well. Let us see the output of our project. First, open the VMware workstation. In that, we have to click this terminal window and change the directory for our uh, project folder. So, for that, we have to type cd space our product code folder name. So, change the directory for our code cd space code then this is important for running our uh, tcl file that is this is the syntax for running our tcl file so, ns space main dot tcl so when we enter this it will produce number of nodes set in our network and trust management scheme this trust management scheme is started from 
the node starting time that is 0 to the node end time that is 30 seconds so in our project we use security functions such as cryptographic functions and for trust calculation for each and every node we use trust management scheme our proposed system is implemented by using OLSR protocol which is uh, based on fuzzy based graph theory OLSR protocol so it is finished at now this is in 15 seconds this is uh, finished at uh, 30 seconds once it finished it uh, execution it will produce one file called NAMP file the NAMP window is nothing but network animator window which contains our simulation video so this trust management scheme shows our normal leaving abnormal leaving normal joining abnormal joining and higher bandwidth lower bandwidth of each and every node at each and every seconds this updated time is nothing but each time for the node take on the time for transmission so now the time is 20 seconds if it come from 30 seconds it will start our NAMP window so now this is in 21 seconds so our project we use three concepts that is fuzzy logic trust management scheme and FGT OLSR protocol so our FGT OLSR protocol implement the trust management scheme then the existing system and the throughput as well so now the time is 25 seconds once it finish yeah now it finished and it will generate our NAM window this is our output window called a network animator window when we click on this play forward button it will works so our network contains 50, net 50 nodes so we have the choice for a speed up the simulation so this is for speed up the simulation process this is our source node and this is our destination node if we want to zoom this process just click this icon and this is for source node and this is for destination node so our process is dynamic manner so if when we run this project in one time it will produce our source and destination nodes in this manner when we run this another time it will source in somewhere so when we click on this so all nodes are in random mobility model all the nodes are in a slight movement now the transmission is done yeah this is our transmission phase these round circles are nothing but beacon messages that is this is our CTS, RTS and the acknowledgement message and this is our uh, TCP communication so all the communication is done via this transmission control protocol time and the number of packets sent at a time is shown here this is CTS this round circle denotes the CTS there is nothing but clear to send and this round circles are RTS and the acknowledgement so these grey nodes are nothing but the attacker node so our process is to we have to identify this attacker node and we have to block list from the network so now all the networks are blacklisted and the data transmission is done without any interruption so now the data transmission is done via this neighbor node 36 all the routing table informations are shown in the terminal so this does not interfere our data transmission so now also 
the retarded transmission is higher uh, bytes that is our throughput is higher than if any malicious nodes are occurred that is identified by using our trust management scheme and that is blacklisted from our network so for running our uh, simulation result just close it and type x graph our uh, simulation result will show on a uh, x graph so for that we have to type this syntax x graph space thr dot xg thr is nothing but our throughput calculation for typing this it will produce our xg graph for our output this is taken from the trace file of our nam window so this is our throughput calculation x graph thanks for watching